Hi, Brian. This is Christian with RenGen SEO and Digital Marketing. We're a family-owned digital marketing company, and I just wanted to shoot this quick video to give you some free tips and tricks that you can use to increase your online presence all on your own. Contrary to popular belief, a website can actually bring you leads in and of itself without paying outside lead services like Zillow, Trulia, and Realtor.com. And the leads that come through your site are exclusive to you, so you're not playing the game of whoever paid the most money to Zillow is getting the best leads this month or competing with multiple agents for the same leads. They're your leads because it's your site. Um, I see that you do have a website here. Uh, the real question is how much value is this website bringing you? How many people are finding this website organically without you handing them a business card um, and then coming through, looking at the pictures and putting in their information and getting sent to your phone, right? That's the real question. Only you know the answer to that. Um, but there's a couple things you can do to vamp this up. Now, three things we're going to talk about content citations and backlinks. The first is content. Content is king in the eyes of Google. The more, the better. Now, you got to keep in mind that content isn't just the words on your site. It's also the photos, how the photos are saved, what's behind the photos, alt tags, meta descriptions, site titles, so on and so forth. So um, keep in mind, you want to have minimum 1500 words on any page you're trying to rank. And then again, a lot of times when we upload photos to a computer, the computer will create a file name for that photo that we don't specify. And a lot of times, um, it'll consist of pick one, pick two, or random letters and numbers. Okay. So if search engines are reading on the back end how they're saved, obviously it would be who of us to make sure that they're, they're being, they're reading something worth value that they're going to provide, um, more value and rank your site higher in the search engine, right? So pick one, pick two, pick three, or random letters and numbers is bringing no value. Do your homework and make sure your photos are all saved the right way, especially in real estate sites with the IDX feed and all the listing photos. It's so important. Uh, next thing we're going to talk about is citations. What a citation is, is anywhere on the web that your business name, address, and phone number can be found in various directories. Uh, those directories include Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Better Business Bureau, Yellow Pages, Yelp, the Chamber of Commerce, all those directories are going to give you citations. The more citations you have, the higher up you're going to rank in this map pack. Uh, so as you can see, I typed in Rochester, Michigan Realtors. We have uh, Linda, Ray, Linda Ray Team, Century 21, and Real Living. Okay. Uh, something I'd like to point out is that Linda Ray Team is in the number one position in Rochester, um, which is a fairly saturated market. And... Um, she's, it's not Remax. It's not Coldwell Banker. Um, it's not Century 21 in the second position. It's the Linda Ray team, real estate one. Okay. So, um, she's obviously doing something right. And there's things that you can do, um, to get there. Okay. So, um, I see that you do have a Google, my business page. Um, so that's awesome. A couple things I want to point out. First of all, you have no reviews. Um, you're def we recommend 25 reviews minimum to all of our clients, uh, you actually have no reviews. So you're definitely gonna wanna start pushing for those reviews. I don't know if this is a new Google My Business page or an old one that you kinda just let go, uh, but either way, we recommend 25 minimum photo or reviews. As far as the photos goes, um, you do have looks like two photos uploaded. Uh, we recommend 10. So you're gonna wanna add eight photos minimum to your Google My Business page. And then again, do your homework and make sure that you're saving them the right way. So other than that, congratulations on having a Google My Business page. But um, I went through the first and second page um, on the map pack and I couldn't find you. So uh, let's see, Seven North Group, you know, people, you know, most people go to the first three. Let's say they don't go to the first three, they're going to come here. You know what I mean? How many, what are the chances they're going to go to the second page, the third page, the fourth page? You know, yeah, maybe one in a hundred are going to do that. But most people are looking for easy uh, fast and easy. So, uh, 25 reviews, 10 photos, uh, citation pack, and you'll be well on your way to being on that first page. Uh, and then the last thing is backlink. So what a backlink is, is anywhere that your domain can be found, uh, online. And so, um, seven north group.com, anywhere that that can be found. I'm actually not pulling up any backlink data for you, any referring domain data, uh, it is showing three keywords you're ranking for, but your domain rating is a zero. So uh, zero out of 100. This leads me to believe that you're not bringing in any volume of traffic to your site um, and you're not getting any leads from it. Okay, so definitely some work to do. Keep in mind, not all backlinks are created equal. So do your homework, research. 
Um, you want backlinks coming from reputable sites that are not spammy um, and that are relevant to the business industry that you're in. So real estate, okay? Keep that in mind. Not all, not all backlinks are created equal. Um, you know, this is an example where quality over quantity is a must. Um, keep that in mind. Uh, and then once you do so, you'll notice that your domain rating will, will go up and you'll actually start getting traffic to your site. Um, another thing I like to point out lastly that I didn't point out is that um, I like to recommend all my clients having a fill form. Uh, and what a fill form is, is when you get, first go to the website right here saying, looking to buy, fill this form out now and we'll call you, right? It'll say, you know, name, John Doe, phone number, an area they're looking for, right? And then it'll send right to your phone. So you're definitely going to want to change this site up. I'm not sure if you built this yourself or if you have a company or whatever, but you're going to want to put a fill form uh, to make it as easy as possible to, for people to reach out to you. Um, so other than that, um, I see you do have a Facebook page here, so that's good too. Again, how many leads are you bringing in from it? Are you doing it right? Okay, that's the real question. So other than that, uh, Brian, I hope this video finds you well. I hope that you can find the time to implement these tips and tricks into your website, into your business, into your life to bring you some more leads and in turn money and freedom. Uh, and so if you have any questions or comments, feel free to get in touch with us. And other than that, uh, I appreciate you watching and thank you very much.